All right, let's start the science experiment. So, we've got our safety equipment on. Got your safety glasses, your lab coat. Is it okay if I borrow Bones' safety glasses? That's okay. Alrighty, thanks Bones. All right, let's do some science. Today, what are we going to do? Do you know what the experiment's about? Um, what do you think it's about? What's this? Strawberries. strawberries. Breaking strawberries. Breaking strawberries. And what are we getting out of the strawberries? Uh, the oxygen. Not the oxygen. It's three letters. D. N. A. DNA. DNA. Okay, because DNA is inside every single living thing. It's inside you. It makes Mila Mila. And it's inside Daddy, Mr. Burek. And it makes Mr. Burek, or Daddy, what he is. It's inside trees, it's inside ants and spiders. Everything that's living is made up of DNA. So, today is about breaking down the strawberries and getting the DNA out of the strawberries so we can look at it and actually see it for real. Now, the strawberries are made up of teeny tiny little cells. So if we actually open this bag of strawberries and we have a look at one of the strawberries, it's a bit icy. So this strawberry is made up of what? Oxygen. Not oxygen. It's made up of teeny tiny little cells. And the cells are the building block of the strawberries. Uh, mm, cells. Yes, cells. And inside every single cell is DNA. And the DNA tells the cell what I to do. Orange. That's just because it's, it's actually ripened a bit too much. So the DNA tells the cells exactly what to do. And it says, I'm going to be a strawberry. I'm going to make little strawberry proteins. And you hold this for me. This is what DNA actually looks like. If we, if we look at a model of DNA, this is what DNA looks like. And it's made up of these, not, they're not actually coloured inside your cell, but it's made up of these red base, uh, sorry, these red. It's a rainbow. It looks like a rainbow. It's red, blue, green, yellow. Mm -hmm. Red, blue, green, green yellow. yellow. And the red are sugars, a special kind of sugar, because normal sugar that you have in, in your coffee has how many carbons? Six. Six. And this sugar has how many carbons? Seven. I mean five. Five? How do you know it's five? Because you tell me. Yeah, it's true, I did. And, it's th and how old are you nearly? Five. So you're nearly the same as the, as the five carbon sugar? Six days. And the, oh my goodness, it is six days. And Thanks. this five carbon sugar is called deoxyribose. So these five carbon sugars called deoxyribose are joined by these phosphates all the way down. So red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. But coming off the reds, you'll see, is these nitrogenous base pairs. And a base it pair is the code. It. it does have a little bit of white in it. It's where it joins up. So there's four base pairs. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. And A always goes with T, G always goes with C. G, C, A, T. When I was at school, I remembered Gemma Crosley, age 10, because my best friend's cousin was called Gemma. And now she's age 30 something, so it still works, GCAT. Okay, so let's put this away. Let's see if we can get the DNA out of the strawberry. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get some strawberries. Can I do this one? Mm-hmm. And we need to break them down so we can get into the cells. So put the strawberries in there. Yeah, get me some more. I'll tell you when to stop. All right. Well, yep. Straight in. Couple more. 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 And stop. There you go. Oh, one more. <laughs> okay. One more. Oh my goodness, that's two. All right. Glad to see you listen to me. So, mortar and pestle. We need can to I grind up. Can I do it? You can, but first we need to put salt in because salt helps help? being abrasive. 
just a little bit of salt. So that's an abrasive, so it helps grind up those cell walls and cell membranes. Um, Daddy, can I please wipe mine? Just wipe them on the lab coat. And this is dishwashing liquid. And dishwashing liquid breaks down lipids. And lipids are fats, and the fats are the cell membrane. The cell membrane are a, a phospholipid bilayer, which means that this will break down that. So we can break all this down, and we can get all of the DNA from outside of the cell. I want to do it. All right, mush. Up. OK. Oh, no, no, don't splash. Mush. Let, let me help. Prison. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. How are we going with the mush? OK. Now. No, your science glasses have to stay on, otherwise your eyes aren't protected. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour it into here. There's, there's already a little bit from, oh, from what we did before. So I'm going to pour this in there. And you've got to tell me if the strawberry starts going into this beaker. So I'm going to mush it through a little bit. Mush. Stuff coming through? No. It's not. Okay, let's. What about now? Is there drops coming through? Yeah. Little bits of drops, little bits of drops, little bits of drops. It's probably enough. Okay, a little bit of strawberry came through, so I'm just going to pick out that strawberry with my tweezers. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it. I'm going to put the strawberries in here. Okay, you put the strawberries in there, and I'm going to pour the strawberry into here, just so I can try and get rid of some of that solid. And what I might, actually what I might do, I'm, first I might pour this into here. It's actually going to be a bit easier with it being in the long, thin measuring cylinder. Now, I'm going to pour this into here with my shaky hand. Okay, so you can see there's a clear layer on top of the red layer, the pink. Now, can you see what's happening at the boundary of that layer? Where the pink and the clear meet, can you see what's happening? It's going a little bit cloudy, isn't it? Do you know what that is? No. The DNA. So, what you can see there is the alcohol sitting on top of the strawberry liquid. And that's all, that strawberry liquid has had all of the, the um, solids filtered out of it. So all of the cell wall, all of the cell membranes, anything that's solid. And really, all we're left with is the fine, fine, fine particles and everything dissolved inside that cell cytoplasm. So, hopefully, because we've broken down the cell wall and the cell membrane, we've got DNA and proteins dissolved in there. And the DNA and proteins together we call the chromatin. Now, what we want to try and do is, I might use the forceps, try and get some of the DNA out of here. If I can do this properly. But I can't see it. Okay, so the tiny little bit glob there. I can't see it. Look. Now that Daddy, I have sticky is DNA. If I can get it to focus. That is the DNA on the edge of the forceps. 
DNA is so small that if you get all of the cells inside your body, and let's say for every kilogram of, of mass that you have, there's a trillion cells. So you would have about 16 trillion cells. Every single one of those cells, if you pull the DNA out of it, has about three to three and a half meters of DNA. So if you got all of daddy's DNA out of his body and stretched it through space, it would go past Pluto and probably back again to the sun. Okay, so thank you for helping me extract DNA out of the strawberries. It was a really fun experiment and this is some that anyone can do at home with some strawberries, some salt, some dishwashing liquid, a chucks, and some cold, cold alcohol. It has to be very cold, the alcohol, for it to work. The colder it is, the better it will work. And pure alcohol, none of this stuff that mummy and daddy have on their shelf. It has to be methylated spirits, or, or just ethanol, or it can be isocol, isopropyl alcohol works fine, but it has to be cold. Say bye kids.